Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the brand new season five in chapter two. So this is really important video, guys. This was a big season. There's a big, there's big map changes. There's, you know, a bunch of different stuff that's happened. Um, and I'm going to be going over everything you need to know. However, I did wake up at 4 a.m. to make this video right when the season launched. So be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel to support my patronage. Uh, but for the most part, I'm going to just be going over all the weapons that were vaulted, unvaultings, I'm going to be going over the map changes, so there's a bunch of different things. Um, so I'm going to just hop right into it. I'm going to start with the first big map change, as most of you guys might have seen in all the clickbait thumbnails. Tilted Towers is back. It's not called Tilted Towers, it's called Salty Towers, because it's kind of like a combination between the old Tilted and Salty Springs. So it's basically like Tilted Towers with Tilted Buildings, and then also like Salty Houses. I love the POI, I think it's pretty good, I think that it's cool that it's in, uh, like, uh, it's, it's in the game, of course. It's where Salty is, obviously. Um, but before I, I before I should have even said that, there's a place uh, like there's a whole desert area in the middle of the map, which is kind of cool because um I've I've been wanting a desert area, I've been wanting a change of biomes for a long time. Um, so what I'm basically going to go over is uh the POIs. So we have all these obviously salty towers is what it's called. It's basically tilted towers, but with salty spring buildings. Then we've got a, a POI known as Hunter's Haven. That is basically a bunch of houses on a building on where the Sentinels used to be last season. So that's basically like um a, like essentially just like houses, um which is which is pretty cool. And then we've also got Colossal Coliseum, which is kind of like the soccer stadium back from Chapter One. It's kind of just like a stadium um in which there's like loot and in that sort of thing. So yeah, that place is really good. And following that, we've also got Stealthy Stronghold, which is kind of like a uh, like enclosure it's it, it's kind of like wailing woods if you put it inside of like a jurassic park sort of fence uh basically it's kind of like i would actually compare that to like a jungle it's basically like a jungle uh it's, it's not very big but it's in the very i guess top left corner of the map it's kind of near coral castle so it's a pretty good drop spot if you guys want to drop there um but i'm not going to be going over drop spots in this video i'm going to be going over drop spots in a in a like another video um but in terms of smaller pois they have added a part of flush factory back a part of Tomato Town back, like a very small part in like um in where Orchard is. Uh, they've also added back um like a, a very like they've also added back like a building of Dusty Depot just around. They like it, they've kind of just like add thrown in like old buildings like all around the map. So I guess you guys can just figure that out for yourself. But um going into the more I guess detailed stuff, um one of the the like the weapons the like the weapon vaultings and that sort of thing. Um, but before I get into that, I would like to talk about there's this new currency. In, in, in Fortnite called gold. Um, as of now, I'm not sure what you can do with it, but basically gold is, um, and, but this is me scrolling with my mouse because I'm actually reading off a list that I made earlier. Gold basically is just a new, it's kind of like a new material. Uh, I'm not sure what you can do with it. Maybe you can upgrade weapons, you can buy stuff, but um, I'm, I'll probably leave a comment on this video updating you guys as, as we get deeper into the season. Um, Okay, now this is really important. In terms of vaultings, uh, we have- these weapons have been vaulted, I guess, okay? So we've vaulted the revolver, the fire trap, the scoped assault rifle, the epic and legendary spaz, rest in peace, I'm, I'm kind of sad about that, the legendary combat shotgun, so for the most part the combats have been vaulted as well, the scar, um, so like the scar completely has been vaulted, I think I'm almost certain that this is the first time the scar has been vaulted ever. So that's really sad, actually. I don't know why they would do that, but I guess it is. Uh, then the legendary uh, bolt-action sniper rifle has also been vaulted. Uh, on top of that, the epic and legendary TAC SMG, and then the rare LMG. So for the most part, LMGs, uh, the TAC SMG, the combat, and the, like, the pump shotgun, and the, the SCAR have been vaulted for the most part. Uh, but the ARs are still there. So um, as for new additions this season, we've got the TAC shotgun, the charge shotgun, Sadly is back. I am I'm not very happy about that, but I guess it is back um, I'm very kind of sad that they vaulted pumps and they put back charges, but the double barrel shotguns also back um, In some form. I don't know exactly what form uh, the p 90s back in like you got you have to kill a certain thing to get the p90 uh, SMGs like normal SMGs are back and then the heavy. this is my personal favorite change of the season The heavy assault rifle is back with some slight buffs than it was last time I believe so I'm really really pumped for the heavy assault rifle being back. It's it's Arguably my favorite rifle of all time. So that's one thing that I'm really pumped about um but on top of that, we've also got some like the new battle pass. There is a the Mandalorian skin is obviously there. Then we've got a basically the storyline is there's a bunch of assassins that are coming to um, or like hunters, I guess you can say hunters uh, coming to try and round up all the people who are trying to screw with the zero point, which is like um, if you guys attended yesterday's event, which was fantastic, by the way, I think it was a bit short, but it was still fantastic. Um, you guys would know that like Galactus obviously blew up and stuff, but I don't think the that's the last we're going to see of him. Um, but for the most part, that's, I guess, the thing. 
um, like this, this is norm, the normality of what's happening. Um, but on top of, I guess, that, there's also some new items. There is something called Dragon's Breath Shotgun, which is a new shotgun. Um, it, it does a lot of damage, uh, but it shoots all four bullets at once. So I don't really know too much about this weapon. I don't really know too much about, you know, like that sort of thing. So there's the Dragon's Breath Shotgun. There's the Amban Sniper Rifle, which is the Mandalorian Sniper Rifle. You have to kill him. Uh, you can get the Mythic Weapon for that. Then there's also the Mandalorian Jetpack. Uh, I, I, the gameplay on screen should be showing that um, I have the Mandalorian Jetpack. And then there's also, you know, um, all of that sort of stuff. So basically, that's all of the new items in Fortnite. Uh, all the vaultings and unvaultings. And then I think the last thing that I'm going to really go over is what, I guess you can say, is new in terms of like fish and like that sort of stuff so there's something called the bounty board which is kind of like the the drift board from back in you know back then uh, i don't know exactly we don't know too much about this um there's also some new floppers one of them's called the tiger zero flopper the leaf the leafy zero flopper uh the skull zero flopper i don't know why they're putting zero in all of this but we've also got the rift to go flopper the sta the sa sandstorm rift flopper which i'm i don't know exactly what that is i'm pretty sure I have no idea, actually. Zero point flopper, which kind of, is, um, I'm pretty sure, tr like, get, gets you, like, a free rift or something. Uh, then we've got bounty board, gold bars, obviously, like I said before. Uh, and we've got Mandalorian jetpack. So those are the, I guess, those things. And then there's also a bounty system. This is mainly for pubs, though. Uh, it's kind of where you just, like, go to a board, and then you click, okay, start bounty challenge, and you have to kill a certain player um, within that radius that's um, that's, that's near you. Um, and then there's also a couple leaks for, like, um, for Christmas stuff uh but christmas is coming up very soon i'm not 100 percent sure why they added a desert for it but i mean you know i i'm i applaud them for adding biomes um i obviously put the two maps up side by side before um so for the most part that's basically all of the new things in fortnite uh obviously there was a um i'm pretty i, I don't quote me on this but i'm almost 100 percent sure that 100 percent chest spawn rate is back which is something I'm very happy about. That's fantastic. I don't know why they removed it. Uh, launch pads, as far as I know, are not back. Um, for the most part, that's roughly it. I don't know why they would remove the pump. That doesn't really make sense to me at all. But I guess if they if they want to, I mean, whatever. Um, but for the most part, guys, the map changed. But I, I'd say that the map change wasn't so significant that it's a completely new map. I'd say that it's pretty big um, in the center. So, like, the ruins is gone. Frenzy Farm is gone. Like, um... I don't even know, like, for the most part, that those are the two places that are gone. But that whole area, Stark Industries, is completely gone. So, for that whole area is completely, completely gone. And it's replaced by Salty uh, salty Towers, Colossal Coliseum, and then there's various gas stations scattered around. And um, also, there's NPCs that you can kill. Not very, not like Mythic bosses, but there's NPCs you can kill just to drop you, like, a like a gray attack or, like, a gray charge. Um, and I forgot to mention, the Tactical Shotgun is back. The Tactical Shotgun is back in full form. It is a great weapon. Then... Um, the charge shotgun's also back, so that's the shotgun meta right now, at least. Uh, then, and the dragon's breath, obviously, but I have not, I'm yet to see that shotgun. Um, so, you know. But, they're, all the, all the old POIs, with the exception of Ruins and Frenzy Farm, are still there from Chapter 2. Um, and as the season progresses for, with, like, Christmas and whatnot, I'm hoping that they add, like, a Christmas biome with Christmas stuff. Which would be kind of interesting, but yeah. Uh, but for the most part, guys, that is all of the new things in in Chapter Two, Season Four. I will be updating this video regularly in the comment section, so please be sure to check that. Leave a comment if you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, but I am tired. I kind of want to go back to sleep, um, and I have school in like an hour. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, and I uh, check out my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Discord. They're all in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.